Hello and welcome to this learning video. Here we are going to take a problem where in the functional hyperbole functions are involved. So this is a variety of problem that uh, most of the student asked for to uh, take. So here we are with the example. Okay. So the problem says find the extremal of the functional v of yx is equal to this. So we have to find out the extremal of this given functional. So to get the uh, extremal of this function, you need to remember three things. Number one, Euler's equations. Euler's equation, which is del f by del y minus ddx of del f by del y dash is equal to 0. This is the very first thing that you need to remember. The second thing is, second and third thing I will uh, tell you later on. Okay. So, just start with this. So, whenever you have to find out the extremal of any function, what we need to do, we just need to write down the function, which is, we denote by f. So, let f is equal to, what is it? y square plus y dash square plus 2y cos h of x. Simple. After writing down this, and as you know that to get the extremal, I am going to make use of the Euler's equation, which involves del f by del y and del f by del y dash. So let us find out this uh, del f by del y. So del f by del y. So derivative of this with respect to y. So this is 2y plus 0 plus 2 cos hx, which you can write it properly 2y plus 2 cos hx. Simple. Now let us find out del f by del y dash. So what is del f by del y dash? It is 0 plus 2y dash plus 0. That is equal to 2y dash. So when you are getting, uh, when you are finding derivative with respect to y, so the term of y dash is constant and when you take uh, derivative with respect to y dash, the term of y would be treated as constant, okay? Now after finding out these two derivatives, make use of Euler equation to get the extremal. So you can write now, extremals are given by, extremals are given by, what is it? extremals del f by del y minus ddx of del f by del y dash is equal to 0. Simple. Now you have all these values. So what is del f by del y? This is 2y plus 2 cos of hx minus ddx of what is del f by del y dash? 2y dash equal to 0. Now, as you can see, there is a uh, two common throughout, so you can divide by two. So you remain with y plus cos of hx minus y double dash is equal to zero on dividing throughout by two and taking the derivative of last term. So we rewrite this equation as that is y double dash minus y is equal to cos h of x. So what we are doing? Taking the term of y on the one side and the term of x on the other side. Okay. So this can be written as d square y minus y is equal to cos h of x. Okay. And say this is to be equation number one, which is, and this equation is this is higher order linear differential equation with, with constant coefficient, with constant coefficients. Okay, so to get the solution of such equations, one need to find out the complementary function and particular integral, right? And to get 
or to get the complementary function you must know uh, the, the rule of finding complementary function and the rule for particular integral okay so for this uh, rule of complementary function and the rule of particular integral so the link of uh, these two uh, is uh, there in the description so you can just uh, uh, go through those things if you really interested in okay so i will continue with that now now to get the solution of this equation one which would be the required extremal i need to find out first of all the complementary function so i will write for complementary function d square minus 1 is equal to 0 okay so put d is equal to 1 so its auxiliary equation its auxiliary equation is put d is equal to m so this is m square minus 1 equal to 0 so m is equal to plus minus 1 once you are getting the roots to be m is equal to plus minus 1 means the root is real and unequal so if you have root say real and unequal then the complementary function is given by c1 e to the power m1x plus c2 e to the power m2x okay so here say m1 to be plus 1 and m2 to be minus 1 therefore cf is equal to c1 e to the power x plus c2 e to the power minus x simple now after getting this complementary function my objective is to find out the particular integral okay so i am going to make use of rule one to get the particular integral for this function all this thing is rough work okay yeah More precisely, you can write this one as d square minus 1 operating on y, best way, okay? Now, for pi, for pi, pi is equal to, what is it? 1 upon d square minus 1 into the function which is in the right hand side cos h of x, okay? Now, we don't have any uh, rule, specific rule to uh, get the particular integral when the function is hyperbolic. So, I need to convert it into exponentiation. So, pi is equal to 1 upon d square minus 1 into what is cos h of x e to the power x plus e to the power minus x by 2. Okay, this is the formula of cos hyperbolic. If uh, it is sine, you just have to replace this plus by minus. So, this is the formula for cos. For sine, this plus becomes the minus one. Okay. So, now just separate this. So, 1 by 2 outside and it would be 1 upon d square minus 1 into e to the power x plus 1 upon d square minus 1 into e to the power minus x. Okay. Now, this is the problem of rule 1. So, rule 1 says, if you have to get the particular integral when the right hand side or when the function is e to the power x or e to the power minus x, what you need to do is, you just need to substitute d is equal to coefficient of x. Okay. So, I am writing this rule 1 here, 1 upon f of d into e to the power ax is 1 upon is equal to 1 upon f of a e to the power ax provided f of a is not equal to 0. So rule number 1 says put d is equal to a and if this f of a is not equal to 0 then that would be your particular integral but this is not the case always. So what if f of a is equal to 0? If f of a is equal to 0 then multiply numerator by x 
differentiate denominator with respect to d into function as it is. Then again put d is equal to a. If it is non-zero then we are through to the uh, particular integral. If not then again differentiate. So this goes on unless you get some uh, definite value in the integral. Okay. So here you can write put d is equal to what? Put d is d equal to 1 and d is equal to minus 1 respectively in d square minus 1. Okay. We get we get what we get? We get d square minus 1 is equal to 1 square or minus 1 square 0 which implies case fails. Okay. So, this is not applicable here. So, I have to apply this. So, what I need to do is multiply numerator by x. So, I have this 1 by 2 outside. Okay. Multiply numerator by x. Differentiate with respect to d. So, this is 2d e to the power x plus Multiply numerator by x, differentiate with respect to d, e to the power minus x. Okay. Now, I just see here that uh, when you substitute, now after doing this, again you have to substitute d is equal to 1 and d, d equal to minus 1 in the second one. So, when you substitute, you will not be getting... Uh, 0 you are getting the non-zero value when you put d is equal to 1 so this is 1 by 2 when you put d is equal to minus 1 this is minus 2 so we are getting I can take x outside x is common into so this is e to the power x by 2 into 1 plus e to the power minus x upon 2 into minus 1 so this is x by 2 e to the power x minus e to the power minus x by 2. And what is this? This is nothing but the formula of sine hyperbole which is x by 2 sine h of x. Simple. Now you can write down the general solution. The general solution of 1 is y is equal to cf plus pi okay that is y is equal to what was my cf c1 e to the power x plus c2 e to the power minus x plus pi just i have found out x by 2 sine h of x and this solution of 1 is itself the required extremal this is the required extremal of the given functional okay hence the result so i hope the problem that i have taken over here is uh, clear to you for any queries or any doubts you can contact so thank you for watching and happy learning thank you